Greetings and welcome back everybody, one and all, to Let's Play XCOM UFO Challenge. Copycat, why did you need to die? You didn't deserve it, it was just a foolish mistake, but the plasma shot came, it pierced through your armor and melted your brain. I'm so sorry copycat, I promise we won't forget you, but now we need a replacement. However, I already have a replacement, sort of. The person has not been named yet, but I know somebody who is perfectly able to replace Copycat. First of all, let's check out how many more people I have here. Quite a lot of rookies. Hmm, SC Hammond. Is this one of the guys who wanted to be named? Hammond, wait a minute. S SC Hammond. Where? Wait. Where are you from again? Your name, wait, Hammond. SC? Um. Wait, did I even name this guy? It's still a rookie. I don't even know. Let's see, we need somebody. You are a woman. You have. Hmm. Could be better. I need a woman for the new person. How about you? Oh my god, little to no bravery. No thanks. How about you? Oh my god, even. No, just the same. Ran. Ran is normally a female name. I'm not sure though. Ran Yakumo. I'm stupid, you know why? Because this is a Toho character that I named and haven't used yet. Oh my god. The stats are not really the best, so... Oh well, whatever. <clears throat> it will do fine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special request to this person, and I will gladly allow her to join the forces of XCOM. The only problem now is that I don't really know how to spell her name. Let's see. Um, do I still know? Hmm. You know what? This is very important. I cannot allow myself to spell the same wrong or else I will die. So one moment, folks. I will be right back with the name. And we are back with the name. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the forces of XCOM. Miss Catronanus. Welcome aboard, Miss Cat. And I will read this again to see if I have spelled this right. Yes, it is indeed right. Welcome, Miss Cat. Miss Cat, I really don't like to put you in danger like this, but you requested it. This was basically a request from the Mistress and Queen of Darkness herself. How could I not allow her to join the team? It would be like, uh... <laughs> it would be like denying the king a wish. You get decapitated for an act like that. You get the guillotine. That's not a good thing. Anyway, Miss Cat, you wanted to join. Here you are. I hope you will enjoy it. And I hope you will last longer than in another person's LP. <coughs> anyway, you obviously get power armor because you deserve it. And first of all, we need to ship you to the sanctuary. By the way, everyone, you can find the link to Miss Catronanus' channel in the description below. Please check out her channel. She does a lot of awesome videos and she's much more po popular than I am. Even though popularity isn't really anything special. However, she has done lots of videos, lots of walkthroughs on all kinds of games. Like, let's see, what could I say is very good that I enjoyed very much? Games like Eternal Darkness, Devil May Cry. Um, what else? Resident Evil games, and so much more. She also has quite a lot of uh, videos about, or basically audition videos. Auditions for things like radio plays, voice acting, singing and the like. Monologues, whatever. Go check it out, it's awesome. Anyway, back to business. Miss Catronanus, there you are. You will now head out to the sanctuary. I will wait for your arrival. And what's with this ship here? Uh, a large scout, mutants, alien terror mission. Hmm. Let's see, do I still have a tank? No, it got destroyed, right? Hmm, I'm not manufacturing anything, let's see. No, not this. Wrong base. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm currently manufacturing a new hover tank. So let's wait 23 more hours. Screw that muton ship for now. I really hope you will have a better life here, Miss Catronanus, than in <coughs> Frozen Foxy's LP. Because 
Oh my, it was so- I don't want to spoil anything. Those of you who want to see, check out Frozen Fox's LP. Poor cat. When you check out a room, Frozen Foxy, you check your corners freaking twice. You don't look into the room and be like, oh my, there's nothing in here, lol. Because if you do it like that, your people will die. Boom! UFO destroyed. By the way, it's a little bit late to realize this, but I realized something about all the attacks you can use with an interceptor. Like a uh, cautious attack, aggressive attack, it basically means how uh, much you allow the enemy to get close to you. If you use a cautious attack, then you will keep your distance and you will only use your rockets, I believe. If you do an aggressive attack, you will close in all the way to the enemy to use your... Uh, well... Technically that's not really true. Um, you can use your cannons all the time if they have a, a lot of range. So basically you are increasing the chances of hitting the enemy. I'm guessing that's what I meant. And oh looky, it's destroyed. I can live with that. Anyway, what was I waiting for? Mr. Tank. And another large scout. Aliens all over the place. Wait, what? The firestorm is still being repaired? Oh come on, how long does that freaking small vessel need to be fixed? Um... Not a lot of damage. Oh god, this thing really needs a long time to be reloaded and everything. Alright, fine. Ignore the scout for now. I don't really need to shoot down everything, I see. Now, when is that freaking tank finished? There we go! Now we have a tank. And wait, did, mit did bleh, Miss Cat arrive already? Um, wait a minute. Soldiers? Alright, Miss Cat is not in this base anymore. There you go! Welcome to the sanctuary, Miss Cat! Welcome to the most hollow bastion of light in Europe, where we will bring doom upon the alien invaders. We have brought a lot of doom upon them already, but this is only the beginning. And Miss Cat, I'd like you to join the team, so somebody needs to stay in the base. Who of you will stay in the base? One of the really bad people. Alright, I need to check out your kills and everything, from Buya to the Origami Killer. Two of you is the best or the worst. Origami Killer, 11 missions, 2 kills, that's bad. Daniela, 32 missions, wow. 8 kills, hmm, acceptable, I guess. A Mystery, 21 missions, 7 kills, hmm. Trollami, 18 missions, 9 kills, hmm. Rumiad, oh, 21 missions, 21 kills, now that's awesome. <laughs> um, Goza. Hmm, Game Master, 6 missions, 6 kills, not too bad. And Booyah, 2 missions, 3 kills. Mm. But you were in hospital for a long time. You know what, Origami Killer, I hate you. But that's not really a reason to let you stay at the base. I need somebody at the base who's good, so that I don't waste somebody. Goza, you maybe? You are a sergeant, but we still have enough sergeants aboard. Goza, you will stay at, at the base for some quality time. Alright. Um, there we go. Uh, there. But wait, 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 wait. I want to equip my tank as well. That means I need to let somebody stay at the base anyway. Alright, how about some good people? <clears throat> um... Origami Keller, you are so freaking bad, I'd like you to be on the very top. Um, let's see... Daniela? Let's uh, have her at the base for a while. The Mystery can also stay there, for the heck of it, and one of you two. Uh, Rumia and Trollami, you are both pretty good. But Rumia is more precious, so Trollami, get your ass out there. Alright! Time to let the tank join the crew again. And we even have enough ammunition. Wow, look at this. We have 77 heavy plasma clips. <laughs> Impressive. How about my base? Oh my, getting fuller and fuller again. Alright, do we have enough weapons? I believe we do. Alright, hey look, they landed in Egypt. You know what? A large landed sector, it's got, seems like a good uh, ship to train my rookies a little bit more. It's in the desert, so that's not a good thing, but... I have a tank, so we should be alright. 
Wow, UFO 156. This LP has really been going for a long time. Alright, let's equip the people. Booyah, you have ammunition. You can also have a med kit. I mean, yeah, why not? Um, Origami Killer, you have ammunition, but I don't really trust you. Miss Catronanus, you deserve a freaking blaster launcher. Come on, raise some havoc. Indeed, the dogs of war are loose. Alright, Origami Killer, I don't really know if I should give you. Hmm, depends on the accuracy, I guess. Game Masters, you're fine. Trollami. Trollami, you can have a blaster launcher. Sadly, you can't carry a med kit anymore now. But. Mm, oh well. Make good use of that baby here. The Shadow Cookie, why am I not carrying a gun? I must be insane! So not the strongest. Claire Redfield, you need a. Gunther Herman, you also. Wait, Gunther needs a freaking blaster launcher. And let's have one of these in his backpack. I mean, Gunther Herman is indestructible, but look how much he can freaking carry. Gunther Herman, oh my. I'm going too crazy over a guy. That's not a very, very, very normal thought. Oh, anyway. Origami Killer, you know what's... You can't even carry this thing. Oh my god, you're such a disappointment to the team. Alright, I believe this should do. Maybe give out a few more med kits. You can't carry anything else, Trelami. Game has, has one. Miss Cat, can you carry one? Hmm. You know what? Miss Cat, you don't need a not a clip at the moment. I'm sure you will do fine without it. Alright, origami killer, whatever. Have a med kit. And that should do. Oh boy, it's a desert mission. I wonder if this mission was such a hot idea. Alright, my tank is basically, at the moment, my only way of making sure that none of my team members will die. Alright, so what do we know? We are right in the middle of the damn desert, of course, why wouldn't we be? The ship is over here, and I also know that they could be everywhere. Yeah, that makes me feel totally safe. It's just uh, an assumption, but I feel like this tank... Whoa. Isn't going to live very long. Hello there, you damn sectoid. You just signed your death contract. Gunther Herman, win him for the team. Alright, he only had a stun launcher. This dude is not really dangerous. But oh my, he tried to fire a stun bomb at my freaking tank. You know, a mission like this is probably the best recipe to get your tank killed. Because look, there's no cover at all. They can see him from everywhere. Alright, Mr. Sectoid Engineer. Can you see anything? Nope, you can't. Alright, let's get back to the tank. There he is. The UFO is in a corner, that's pretty good. That means if most aliens are there, they won't be able to just run away. However, I would feel safer if my tank could fly above the UFO, so that if an enemy comes down, it won't immediately get shot. Alright, my tank can't move anymore. I could shoot that sectoid though. Let's see, origami killer or booyah? Ugh, Miss Catronanus, I'd like to use you in combat already, but I don't want to lose you, you're precious to me. Uh. Yeah, by the way, I noticed you are... Alright, I don't know too many, but from all the people out there, you're probably the very first woman that I... Well, most other women in the team are fictional, but you are actually real. So welcome, you're the very first real woman in the team. Normally I don't like to do that because I don't want to injure anybody. Sorry, baby, Elizabeth, if you're watching this, but I cannot... Risk to have you harmed by enemy invaders. You will stay at the base and watch some TV. Yeah, that's not discriminating at all. Anyway, origami killer. I need somebody out here. Somebody to play bait. It's a delightful little game, I can tell you. Well, at least your accuracy is not disappointing. Also, if you stay here, maybe if aliens come out of the UFO, they will shoot you instead of my tank, and that would really be good. Alright, time to... time to... yeah, good question, time to... time to have somebody die. 
or not. Alright, surprising. I thought somebody would die. But oh well, didn't happen. I'm really tempted to shoot with my tank. But the thing is, I don't want to risk him yet. Because then he has no time units left to move about. Why can't you see anything here? What's with all the blackness? Mm, I'm so sure that they are over there. And I'm also so sure that something is inside this ship. Alright, Mr. Tank, careful now. Why can't you see anything there? You're flying so freaking high. My, my. Fly down a little bit. The lower you are, the less the chance that they can actually hit you. Alright, now the ground team needs to do something, and that's probably the most suicidal thing. Because look, sand dunes, they could hide behind them. Alright, origami killer. Oh, lucky. Alright, that's a good thing. <laughs> Gunther. Very nice. Alright, this corner is safe, that's good to know. First of all, Mr. Sectoid, throw away your gun. And then come a little bit closer. I believe we should try to become friends. Thank you very much, you're pretty close now. Alright, sir. Oh, origami killer, you disappoint me. Alright, there's one more corner that... Hmm, this map isn't really that big. It's pretty small, actually. So that means a ton of them is probably inside the UFO. Miss Catronanus, I'd really like to move you out, but it seems like such a dangerous move. Oh god. Alright, Miss Cat, careful now. Wow, Miss Cat! <laughs> As expected, your accuracy is masterful. Of course, what else to be expected from the Queen of Darkness? I'm sure you will be a very good member of the team. And nothing happening. Hmm. Alright, looks like we need to do a knock-knock. However, who shall do that? First of all, let's check this out. I don't want to, you know, run into a trap. Alright, there's the door, but there's nobody here. You know, the safest thing would now probably be to check out the other corner. You can do it, Mr. Tank. Hmm, you can't see anything yet. Alright, somebody needs to move on that sand dune. And I know who that person will be. Origami killer, come on, go forth. Sacrifice yourself for the team. Oh my, nobody can see anything. Careful, Miss Cat, stay here. You will be safe. Hmm. Nothing at all. I wonder how many sectoids are lurking inside that vessel. Alright, Mr. Tank. Time to fulfill your destiny. Check out the corner. Oh, looky. It looks like it's safe. Well, I hope that it's safe. I mean, what if something hides behind a freaking cactus? Oh, look. One of the Snake Man's ancestors. And not just one, they are all over the place, actually. Look, there's another one. Anyway, wow, the entire map is basically safe. That means they are all inside that UFO. <laughs> oh my. Alright, origami killer, where are you? There you are. You can move down again. I have a very, very important job for you. Infiltrate the enemy UFO all by yourself. If you can manage to do that, then mind control will pretty much take care of the rest. I'm really curious why they are not moving out, though. Alright, let's see. Maybe I don't even need my tank for this. And I know we already reached 20 minutes once again, but I don't care. It's not bad if a video is a little bit too long. That's more enjoyment for the viewer. I personally just like to make videos longer than 20 minutes because I still want to keep that sort of episode format for my videos. I don't want people to watch a freaking movie. But sometimes, sometimes it's just my little mistake, like that one episode that was almost one half an hour long. That was a stupid mistake, but I realized it too late. I just had so much fun with the video 
that I forgot when to stop. However, 22 minutes or so are pretty alright to me. What? Not enough energy? Ah! Miss Cat! Careful! Hit the deck! We're being attacked from behind! Oh, damn! How? We checked this plan. Oh, he was probably standing here somewhere. Damn it! Oh, careful, Miss Cat. Easy now. Booyah! We need your assistance. You will sacrifice yourself for the Queen of Darkness. Oh my, Miss Cat. I'm so sorry. I wasn't... God damn it, I'm being as incompetent as Frozen Foxy. <laughs> no insult intended. Seriously, I'm not watching my freaking corners. What the hell? Is there anything else lurking here? Yeah. Oh, you fool. You dare shoot at the Mistress of Darkness? <laughs> you bloody fool. Look at this corpse. It belongs to your buddy. And you know what? You will now join him. Bloody fool. Alright, you know what, Booyah? In front of the queen, you will be her meat shield. I'm sorry, but she is very important to the team. Her aura of darkness shall bring us victory. Alright, already two minutes too long, this video. Oh my, are you ready, Origami Killer? Oh, goody. Of course, the vessel is still completely intact, so this could be dangerous. You know what? Oh, great, not enough energy. No, that's good. And you don't even have anything for another shot. Oh, origami killer. Not good. I need my tank on standby. You know what? When we come back, folks, the rest of this UFO, the rest of Miss Catronarnus's uh, grand entry to the team, uh, grand appearance, I can't really think of the right word, of the right saying, but whatever. When we come back, more XCOM. Until then, until then.